coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of many. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Chip. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Palm Springs, California, the Ghost. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out, because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the ground. A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. A single collar tie there, while really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, as a lot of people have said, he did not want to stand on a napkin and trade in the center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here early. He's a very smart fighter. He's very safe. And in the clinch, he understands that he's not in any danger because he's so good when he's in a clinch. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. 
edge of your seat action as expected so far. Such a fast leg kick. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Beautiful body kick. Now the transition to the judo throw right into side control where he will have no shortage of options. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh! And he caught the kicks. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. to the head block. And he landed the right hand there. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. Just misses there with the left. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Not there. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Oh, and there's a kick now to the body. That one blocked by Lee. Big roundhouse now, just misses. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And they separate. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Ooh, 
head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Way to hide that leg kick. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Single collar tie now. Lands the right hand. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Punch over the top. Ooh, blocks the shot. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. And there comes the separation now. Powerful leg kick land. Flush right hand is true. Nice head kick. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, what a punch. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice right now. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! Boy, Ty Plum. Nice punch by Lee. And he switches to Southpaw. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. A double leg shot. Oh, able to slam him down to the ground. Well done. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, it creates this space to land these beautiful drawn upon combinations. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh! He's gonna turn on the elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. Can he take? Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, you know I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, landed another strike to his opponent's liver. He continues to target that area and looks to buckle him once again. Effective punch there by Lee. And he switches to southpaw here yet again. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, good cut. No good deal. Just a little scratch. Don't mind the blood. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. Oh, 
So with that, our next round is underway. It looked like maybe we wouldn't get here. There was a close attempt on a submission in the previous round, but the fighter lives to fight another round. It was very, very close. If it's me and I'm his coach, I'm telling him, get right back to it. This time, he will not be able to survive. Head kick lands. Punch is blocked. We'll see if he can finish. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice leg kick lands. Ooh, big shot lands. Big head kick lands. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Big that knee D, lands there. That knee hurt him. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Lee. Both fighters get up now. Huge knee land. Control. Good volume of knees here by Lee. And they separate. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch lands. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Hands higher, hands higher. Missed with that attempt. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice straight punch. Went for the inside leg kick. <laughs> Stuff the takedown, no problem. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, wow, oh! Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. Yeah. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. And they put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and over again.